Okay, we have we have leveled off. We'll just start. Thank you very much, Ms. Allen. And to everyone, welcome. Uh, good afternoon. I am pleased to welcome you to this meeting of the California Privacy Protection Agency Board. It is April 14th, 2023 at 2.31 p.m. I'm Jennifer Urban, and I'm the chairperson of the board. Before we get started with the substance of the meeting, as usual, I have some logistical announcements to have, make sure everyone's on the same page with the meeting and can participate effectively if you would like. First, I would like to ask that everyone please check that your microphone is muted when you are not speaking. Additionally, please note that this meeting is being recorded. The meeting will be run today according to the Bagley Keen Open Meeting Act, which is required by law. After each agenda item, there will be an opportunity for questions and discussion by board members. We have a designated time on the agenda for general public comment. That's agenda item number four today. I will also ask for public comment after each specific or on each specific agenda item. Each speaker will be limited to three minutes per agenda item. If you wish to speak on an item and you're using the Zoom webinar, please use the, the raise your hand function, which if you wanna take a second to locate now is in the reaction feature at the bottom of your Zoom screen. If you wish to speak on an item and you are joining by phone, please press star nine on your phone and that will show the moderator that you are raising your hand. Our moderator will call your name when it is your turn and request that you unmute yourself for comments at that time. Those using the webinar can use the unmute feature um, on the screen, and those dialing in by phone can press star six to unmute. When your comment is completed, our moderator will mute you. It is helpful if you identify yourself, but this is voluntary, and you can input a pseudonym when you log into the meeting. The board welcomes public comment on any agenda item, and it is our intent to ask for public comment prior to the board voting on any agenda item. If for some reason I forget to ask for public comment on an agenda item and you wish to speak on that item, please just let us know by raising using the raise your hand functions and the moderator will recognize you. You will then have the three minutes to speak on that item. Relatedly, I would like to remind everyone of the rules of the road under Bagley Keene. Both board members and members of the public may discuss agendized items only. If you are speaking on an agenda item, both board members and members of the public must contain their comments to that agenda item. Items not on the agenda for today can be suggested for discussion at one of our future meetings when the board takes up the agenda item designated for that purpose. It's number five today. Today's meeting has a relatively brief agenda, but we will take breaks as needed. Please note that the sixth agenda item today is a closed session item. When we are, the board will um, leave this public session for that discussion, um, and but we'll leave the public session open. And when we are finished with a closed session item, the board will return to this public meeting in order to adjourn. My many thanks to our board members for their service and to all the people working today to make the meeting possible. Um, I'd like to uh, thank by name the team supporting us today, Mr. Brian Souble, who's our meeting council today, uh, welcome, Mr. Sugle, Mr. Ashkan Sultani, who's here in our capacity as our executive director. Um, and I would like to thank and welcome our moderator today, Ms. Elizabeth Allen, um, and ask her to please now conduct the roll call. Yes, board member De La Torre. Present. De La Torre is present. Board member Lay. Present. Or uh, Lay present. Board member McTaggart. McTaggart is not present. Board member, or Chair Urban? Present. Urban present. And with that, you have three out of four and you have quorum. Thank you very much, Ms. A Ms. Allen. The board has established a quorum. Uh, we expect Mr. McTaggart um, uh, to come for part of the meeting and we'll welcome him at that time. I would like to let board members know that we will take a roll call vote if we have any action items today. With that, we will move to agenda item number two, which is an update from the chairperson. Um, I have a couple of short updates. I realize that I seem to roll this ev over every time, but it really does seem like our strategic planning consultant contract is almost done. 
So um, I'm hoping that we can pick that up in earnest um, in our next meeting. Uh, it is positive movement. Um, it just um, that we'll just have it's just it's just taking a little while because of the process does. Um, I would like to congratulate Mr. Nelson Richards, who has been appointed as the agency's assistant chief counsel. Mr. Richards came to the agency from the government law section at the California Department of Justice and has proved an invaluable resource um, to the team. So I wanted to offer him warm congratulations and welcome uh, to the new role. Uh, I'd also like to thank Mr. Brian Souble, who is a familiar face for folks who've joined our meetings before, um, who's stepping in to reprise his role as acting general counsel, while our general counsel, Mr. Philip Laird, um, is on paternity leave. So we are happy for Mr. Laird, and we are glad to have Mr. Souble with us today. I'm also delighted to announce that our rulemaking package, now the rulemaking package um, that many um, people in attendance probably commented on um, over the last months um, that we approved as a board um, in early February has been approved by the Office of Administrative Law and filed with the Secretary of State on March 29th. The rules are final and effective as of that date. Um, we talked about the effort that went into this when we approved the package to go to OAL, but I do just want to reiterate my, and I'm sure the, re the rest of the boards, many thanks to staff for the incredibly competent, careful, thoughtful, creative uh, work that, and responsive to the public that, uh, sorry, the work being responsive to the public. My many thanks to the public for an incredibly robust rulemaking process with um, a, a tremendous amount of um, information um, offered to the agency to help us improve the rules, very much appreciated and my thanks to the board. Um, as we knew from the very beginning, <laughs> we started with no staff. We, um, we have been lightly staffed um, and we have an absolutely wonderful staff. At the same time, um, uh, this board has been um, very substantively involved, lent its expertise um, to this effort. And um, I'm very proud of what we have accomplished and, and thank you all for that. Um, next steps on rulemaking, I believe our executive director will say a little bit about that. Um, but thanks to the public, everyone who has submitted public comments in response to our initial request for comment on automated decision making, risk assessments, and cybersecurity audits. I have my binders of public comments and I'm very excited about that. Um, uh, and I think Mr. Sultani is going to give an update on rulemaking efforts, but suffice to say, we are moving right along. So thank you to the staff for that, the new rules subcommittee, which is Ms. De La Torre and Mr. Lay for their work and to the public for what looked to be some very, again, extremely helpful comments. Um, do keep up with our rulemaking work. Staff has prepared an FAQ, which is at ccpa.ca.gov regulations on the regulations page. And you can always sign up for our rulemaking email list in order to receive rulemaking communications directly. And there you can go to ccpa, excuse me, cppa.ca.gov and click on join our mailing list on the front page. Um, so those are my announcements. Are there any questions or comments from board members? No? Wonderful. Um, any public comments, any questions or, or any, excuse me, any comments from members of the public? We are on agenda item number two, the chairperson update. If you would like to make a comment, please raise your hand using the Zoom raise hand feature or by pressing star nine on your phone. Your name will be called when it's your turn and you'll be invited to unmute yourself. Those dialing in on the phone can press star six to unmute and you will have three minutes to make your comment. All right, again, if you would like to make a public comment on the chairperson's update, please go ahead and raise your hand or dial star six. Chair, Chairperson Urban, I'm not seeing any hands at this time. All right, thank you very much, Ms. Allen. And with that, we will move to agenda item number three, which is an update from our executive director, Mr. Ashkan Sultani. I'll ask him to join us. Thank you, Mr. Sultani, welcome. And please go ahead. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to provide a quick update today. This should be relatively short. Um, 
first off, I want to uh, echo the board, the chair's um, praise for both the board and staff on our on completion of our first substantive CPPA regulations that were approved on the 29th. Um, you know, many, many, many may be aware that the board started the process uh, for rulemaking uh, with a preliminary invitation for comments in September of 2021, prior to even there being prior to my appointment and there really being an agency. And that was great foresight. We received incredible substantive pre-rulemaking pre comments through that process. And in July of 2021, uh, 22, sorry, July 22, we kicked off the formal rulemaking uh, process. I just wanted to express the thanks to the board and the team for the tireless work. This is an incredible lift for our fledgling agency and I couldn't be uh, more proud of the substance of the regs, but also the process. I just want to thank DOJ, Department of Consumer Affairs, and all the other agencies that helped us on this journey. Um, I, I think again, it, it was it's a it was a big lift, but I think we did a great job. Um, along with the second topic of pre rulemaking, we also received um, we also began a second invitation for pre rulemaking comment on the topics of cybersecurity audits, risk assessments, and automated decision making on um, February 10th of this year, and that just concluded on March 27th of 2023. We received robust feedback in that process so over something like 50 pages of comments and another thousand or 50 comments over another thousand pages of comments. And staff are now working to review those comments to help inform their work further, uh, including the work of the new subcommittee and ultimately the board. IT staff are also now processing those comments and they should be available on our website uh, and, uh, in the coming weeks. I hope in the next week or two that we'll have those redacted and available for the public. And then finally, just quickly, staff are working actively on the topics that came up during the previous meetings prior to the rulemaking meetings, including additional topics for rulemaking, our budget change proposal, which uh, we're currently still in negotiations with finance, uh, including our cost of living adjustment, and uh, additional topics such as the age appropriate design um, working group. And so uh, lastly, I appreciate the Chair mentioning the FAQ. We're now in the process of updating our website to incorporate the uh, updates as a result of the rules, as well as the protections and responsibilities to California public. And so um, we should have iterative updates to the website uh, in the coming weeks. And so I'm happy to answer any questions if there are any. Uh, otherwise, um, uh, thank you all for, for getting us here. Thank you so much, Mr. Sultani. Uh, comments or questions from the board? All right, I will just reiterate thanks for an amazing job, an amazing effort, and keeping us on keeping us on track. Um, Ms. Allen, um, are there any comments from the public? Yes, we are on agenda item number three, the executive director's update. If you would like to make a comment, please raise your hand using the Zoom raise hand feature or by pressing star nine on your phone. Your name will be called when it's your turn and you'll be invited to unmute yourself. Those dialing in by phone can press star six to unmute and you will have three minutes to make your comment. Again, if you would like to make a public comment, feel free to go ahead and raise your hand or dial star nine on your phone. We are on agenda item three, executive director's update. Chair Urban, I'm seeing no hands. Thank you, Ms. Allen. Um, and thank you, uh, Mr. Sultani, um, for the update. With that, we will turn to agenda item number four, which is our item for public comment on items not on the agenda. So this is an opportunity for members of the public um, to comment on things that we don't have on the agenda for today. Before we proceed with the public comments, please note that the only action the board can take is to listen to comments and consider whether it will discuss the topic at a future meeting. We can take no other action on the item at this meeting. It can seem, I know, at times like board members are not being responsive, but this is not the intent. We are listening. Um, rather, following these guidelines is crucial to ensure that the rules of the Bag the Keen Open Meeting Act are followed and to avoid compromising either the commenter's goals or the board's um, mission. 
Um, so with that, um, I would like to ask if um, there are any members of the public, com public excuse me, um, who would like um, to comment at this point. Yes, great. Again, we are on agenda under item number four, public comment on items not on the agenda. So if you would like to make a comment, again, please raise your hand using the Zoom raise hand feature or by pressing star nine on your phone. Your name will be called when it's your turn and you'll be invited to unmute yourself. Those dialing in can press star six to unmute and you will have three minutes to make your comment. All right, Jen, I am going to un uh, invite you to unmute yourself and you have three minutes. Hello, I hope you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, I do have a question and I've been trying to find this on the webpage, the CTPA, another webpage is about the limitation on cell phone tracking mechanisms or cell phone tracking. What are the rules? Because that's part of geolocation. Thank you very much. Um, I Again, I apologize. We can't respond substantively um, due to the rules that we're under, but thank you for the question. It's important to know that, that that is a question you still have after looking at the website, and we will take it under advisement. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. And um, if you would, if anyone else has a, a, a public comment, please raise your hand using the Zoom raise hand feature or by pressing star nine on your phone. Your name will be called when it's your turn and you'll be invited to unmute yourself. All right, I am seeing no other hands, Chair Irvin. Thank you, Ms. Allen, and thank you again um, to Jen um, for, for the comment. Uh, we will move on to future agenda items, which is agenda item number five. This is our designated agenda item um, for a discussion of um, topics that we um, may discuss in future meetings. Um, for the board members, um, I will give you um, a little, an idea of the running list that we have. Um, so um, strategic planning um, is, is on the list. Um, last meeting, we talked about a regularized calendar for rulemaking. And um, Ms. De La Torre and I, the sort of reconstituted um, process subcommittee, um, we'll um, presume have an update about that, or staff will have an update about that pretty soon. Ms. De La Torre and I, at some point, will have an update about um, the insurance um, analysis um, that that subcommittee um, is doing. Um, in the next um, meeting, we expect to have an update from staff on regulation um, uh, proposals um, and prioritization. Um, there's a list of items that board members have mentioned, for example, and there may be an additional update. Um, the new rule subcommittee, I assume you'll let us know when you have an update, but we can expect that at some point um, in future meetings. Um, and um, we, uh, we're, we've really kind of worked through um, looking at our, our various sort of regularized topics that we need to talk about, um, but I anticipate in our next meeting, we'll take a look at that as a whole um, so that we have our sort of plan for our meetings on budget and um, legislation, et cetera, um, uh, moving forward. Um, any additional agenda items, uh, Ms. De La Torre or Mr. Lay that you would like uh, me that I missed or that you'd like me to add to the list. Ms. Delatory. Thank you. Um, there's an outstanding request from two board members to add to the agenda an item for every meeting on discussing rules. I think this was made at least two meetings ago. And I am not sure why it's not in the list or why it was not added to the agenda today. My understanding of the rules of boards in California 
is that two members have the right to propose any item for both. And it seems logical to me that they should also have the right to propose an agenda item and that that should be followed. So if, if I could have an update on where that is and whether we will see it in the agenda for the next meeting, that will be helpful. Uh, yes, I'm aware of that, and the agenda for the next meeting um, should include the priorities discussion. Um, my understanding, we did talk about this, is that in, during this item, anybody can bring up future agenda items, including rules that they would like to see um, discussed. So uh, after I consulted with staff afterwards, um, and perhaps we just had a misunderstanding, but our understanding was that was where people might, anybody could suggest um, regulation um, for future discussion just as they would otherwise. Um, I, I'm not sure if um, Alastar, if member McTaggart has joined, but my recollection is that there was a request to have an agenda item specific to discussing um, that, that, future rules. Yes, we did discuss that. and. We talked about whether we needed a specific agenda item or this agenda item would serve. Um, and, you know, maybe we just misunderstood uh, after I talked with staff later, we thought that this agenda item would um, would include that. Um, I don't have any feel strong feeling about it one way or the other. Um, so let me go back with staff and see if um, if you're if you're thinking, Ms. De La Torre, is that um, we need something that specifically says future rulemaking items. Um, I don't, I have no objection to that. Oh, so let me make sure that I understand. So what I'm hearing is that we can have a discussion on rules and their future agenda items. Is that what I'm hearing? We can have, we can, anyone can propose a future agenda item and that includes a rule. Um, even if we have a separate agenda item for mentioning rule topics, we couldn't discuss those in substance because they wouldn't have been noticed. Um, uh, they wouldn't have been noticed for discussion. They would have just been something that was brought up in the meeting, right? So it's functionally the same. Um, and then, but if it helps, you know, how, every, how everyone's thinking about it, I'm happy to have an agenda item that's named future rule. Uh, you know, future, future suggestions for future rules or future, I, you know. Um, right. I, I, I don't, you know, disagree with your knowledge of how the agenda should be said. I, I you know, whatever um, you and the staff have identified as the requirement, it's um, perfectly fine with me. But my suggestion is that if we as a board are to have a conversation on um, priorities for rulemaking, it will be helpful for the public to see that reflected in the agenda because I'm not sure that it will be very intuitive to the public when they decide to attend one of these meetings that we're going to have such a discussion when they read future agenda items. Um, but I obviously leave it to you as a chair and with the advice of the staff to decide. Sure, yeah, so there are two steps. One is putting it, bringing it forward to be put on the agenda. And then one is discussing it in substance or how we want to prioritize it alongside other things. The second part most definitely needs its own agenda item. My understanding was that for, um, for each agenda, there would be the possibility that board members would say, you know what, something has come up and I would like to point out or propose that we put this um, on a future agenda for discussion, which would allow staff to do some research and, and, and so forth. Um, and that can happen under this agenda item or it can happen under something that's named potential future uh, regulations. Um, but that substantive discussion and our discussion of priorities can't really happen anyway without a, without a, without a noticed agenda item. There's two steps. Sorry. I I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a little, I'm a little confused, but if we could just you know, take um, the request that member McTaggart and myself made two meetings ago and make it possible to have that conversation, whatever that means for the agenda in the next meeting, I think it will be very appreciated. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Mr. Lay?
Mr. Lay. All right. Um, I, I, I didn't catch the last of it. Um, did you call on me, Chair Urban? I did. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I, I, my internet is not great. Um, yes, as, as two, two points, I think right now, um, you know, Ms. De La Torre, it would be the time for you to suggest like the specific rules um, that you, you'd like to be discussed at the, the next meeting is, is how I understood That's right. um, the process. Uh, so yeah, my understanding was similar to Chair Urban's is like if we had a specific rule that we would like to be discussed, uh, now would be the time to add it for the next um, board meeting. Um, and then my my second point um, is, is a little quite unrelated, but um, you know, to what Chair Urban raised, you know, it is our hope that by the next board meeting we can at least have some um, preliminary questions for the board to discuss around. Um, you know the the findings from the new rules committee and perhaps some threshold questions uh assuming that we can get through all the comments uh in that time but um yes those are okay. i guess my two comments wonderful thank you mr lay that's helpful um and i have i've noted that down um i the only caveat or not caveat clarification maybe i would add with regards to proposing um items for rulemaking it's just that um, uh, I know staff has a list of everything that has been brought up in previous meetings, so we don't need to run through the whole list again um, every time or today they're working on that. But if there are additional items that either of you would like to go in the bucket um, and then be discussed in a substantive um, item uh, in the next meeting, um, this would be a great, this would be a good time to propose them. Um, and if if not, that's fine too, because I know there's a there's a good list that's already gotten started. Okay. Um, is there public comment? And also you can think while well, while we wait for public comment too. Um, is there is there public comment on this item? Yes, we are on agenda item uh, number five, which is future agenda items. If you would like to make a comment, please raise your hand using the Zoom raise hand feature or by pressing star nine on your phone. Your name will be called when it's your turn and you'll be invited to unmute yourself. Those dialing in by phone can press star six to unmute and you will have three minutes to make your comment. Again, if you are interested in making a comment on agenda item number five, future agenda items. Please use the raise hand feature or press star nine on your phone. And you will have three minutes to make your comment. Chair Urban, I see no hands. Thank you, Ms. Allen. Um, any further items from board members? All right. Um, I have, I already did have the rule prioritization on the list, but I've, I've highlighted it and also um, I highlighted a note for myself to go back and um, clarify again just exactly what we're calling things on the agenda. And I have noted um, that the new rule subcommittee will, of course, let probably Mr. Sultani know, who will let me know if you need a spot um, on the next agenda. And whenever we do have that discussion, I will look forward to it. Um, with that, um, let's move to agenda item number six. Agenda item number six is a closed session item for two, uh, a closed session, a closed session for discussion of two items. The first is discussion of the executive director's appointment of the deputy director of public affairs under authority of government code 11126 uh, subdivision A1. And the second agenda item is pursuant to government code section 1126 subdivision E1 and 2A. Um, uh, and that for that, the board will meet in closed session to confer and receive advice from legal counsel regarding the following matter, California Chamber of Commerce versus California Privacy Protection Agency et al. in the Superior Court of the State of California. Uh, Sacramento County. The case number is on your agenda if you would like to refer to that. 
Um, as a logistical matter, the board, as I mentioned at the top of the meeting, will leave the public session and go into a closed session to discuss these items. During that time, we'll leave the public session here open. Uh, members of the public, you are welcome to stay or to wander off um, or to leave since it's Friday afternoon. Um, and we will return um, after we're done with the closed session to adjourn this um, session. Before we go into closed session, um, I'd like to ask if there's any public comment on these two items um, from anyone in the audience. Okay, we are on agenda item number six, the closed section uh, session for um, agenda a, for agenda item six A or B. If you would like to make a comment, please raise your hand using the Zoom raise hand feature or by pressing star nine on your phone. Your name will be called when it's your turn and you'll be invited, invited to unmute yourself. Those dialing in by phone can press star six to unmute and you will have three minutes to make your comment. All right, David Rivera, you have um, you may unmute yourself. Again, you have three minutes. Please proceed. Thank you, um, Chairperson Urban. Just to clarify, um, when you come back from being a um, from the closed section, no other topics will be discussed by this uh, this body. You'll just yeah. immediately adjourn. We we will just be adjourning. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, if anyone else would like to make a comment on agenda item number six, the closed session, please raise your hand using the, the Zoom raise hand feature or by pressing star nine on your phone. I see no other hands raised, Chair Urban. Thank you very much, Ms. Allen. Thank you, Mr. Rivera for the clarifying question. Um, and thanks to everyone for attending this afternoon. The board will now leave the public session for a closed session discussion. I'd like to invite Mr. Lay and Ms. De La Torre um, to please do that. Um, we will return um, when we are finished with those items in order to adjourn. Thanks everyone for joining us on a Friday afternoon. Uh, Ms. Allen, I'm just letting you know that the board is back and we can uh, reconvene the public session when you when you are ready and we are all here. I'm just checking. Um, yes, we have everyone. So please let us know when to begin. Okay, go ahead and begin. Thank you very much, Ms. Allen. Um, thanks again to all the members of the public who joined us today. Uh, thank you for the board members um, for your time and expertise this afternoon. And of course, thank you very much to our expert staff for all of your contributions to the meeting and to our work. Uh, this is our last agenda item, number seven, and it is adjournment. Uh, so I will go right ahead and ask if I may have a motion to adjourn the meeting. I move. Thank you. I have a motion from Ms. De La Torre. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Motion is on the table from Ms. De La Torre, seconded by Mr. McTaggart to adjourn the meeting. Um, Ms. Allen, would you please conduct the roll call vote? Yes, the motion is to adjourn. 
Board Member De La Torre? Aye. Or, um, De La Torre, aye. Board Member Lay? Aye. Lay, aye. Board Member McTaggart? Aye. McTaggart, aye. Chair Urban? Aye. Urban, aye. With that, the motion carries in a vote four to zero. Thank you, Ms. Allen. By a vote of four to zero, the motion carries to adjourn this meeting of the California Privacy Protection Agency Board, and we hereby stand adjourned. Thanks very much, everybody.